Hi. A lot of people ask me to make a follow-up video about the neuromediated hypotension and post-orthostatic tachycardia and talk about the salt and the garlic and other things that you can do. And I also want to talk about some of the things that help with different symptoms too. Um, the salt in your diet is so important and we have all been brainwashed over the years to think that salt is like the worst thing you can do and the thing is that people who have this it's your best friend you need to be salting your food and what's happening with the diet around the world is that they continue to lower the sodium and the salt content of the foods and recently there was an article about a week ago where they said that they were going to lower the salt and sodium content of the food by another 20%. And what that's going to do is people like us who have to have that salt, they're going to be fainting, they're going to end up bedridden, there could be even worse consequences with this. And if you're not aware that that's what's going on in your diet, you're going to get worse. So there's like nothing more important than stocking up on some salt but it should be the right salt like I had mentioned before it has to be the salt that has all of those minerals in it but if you stock up on it and you put it in your food you know just in general salt your food you will be able to at least make yourself a little better and you won't be fainting and collapsing and it's really that important with this disease like, I can't stress enough how much salt in your diet is that important. Um, the garlic is hidden in so many foods, and when people tell me, oh, I don't have garlic in my diet, I'm like, yes, you do. It's hidden in soups. It's hidden in just about anything that you eat. They put it in pizza, in the sauce. They put it in just, like, so many things that all the packaged foods use it. They just use it as, like, a hidden flavoring. No one ever thinks anything of it, but you really have to get that out of your diet because that really is what's making you sicker. Um, let's talk about what works on the fatigue and the brain fog because so many people keep asking me this over the years and it's like, if you want more stamina, there's a difference between the stamina and the fatigue, but if you want more stamina and you want to last longer at what you do vitamin D it is the only thing I have found in like all these 19 years of being disabled with this that will give you some more stamina high doses of vitamin D I use shiitake mushroom extract because that has the highest amount of vitamin D in the world something about that particular plant mushroom it has the highest content of it um, you can use shiitake mushroom extract, but you still need pretty high doses of it, like six pills at a time. Or you can use regular vitamin D, but you should be having like at least like six of those a day or more. And you'll find that if you do that every day, you'll have some more stamina. You won't be as fatigued, but you'll still have your fatigue. That's like never, it's never going to go away. There is nothing that gets rid of that fatigue. Um, but you'll have more stamina, and that's really important. Um, okay, Royal Bee Jelly works on the brain fog. If you want to clear your brain, it's Royal Bee Jelly. But, once again, you got to do it every day. Um, and the only brand I found that worked was called Premier One. And I had to take that, like, every single day. It did clear the brain fog, it did nothing for the fatigue but my brain felt clearer. Um, and let's talk about what works on the pain. I take a really strange thing. Um, my doctor and I really researched and we really took the time to find something to help with the pain. I don't take it every day though. Um, what I take is Fioraset without the caffeine. It's basically it's Tylenol with Butalbital. And what that does is, basically it does work on the nerve pain, it will get you out of your pain. But it will make you tired, and it will make you into a zombie the next day. So I don't take it every day, I take it when I really, really need it. Um, 
you can try it you'll find you know really you won't be allergic to it and it shouldn't be and it really helps when you need it but um that's pretty much what i take it's a safer thing to take than any mind drug or anything you know things like lyrica that work on your brain really aren't that good um and that's really about it i know i sound rushed because like i know i have like the 10 minutes to talk on this video and I hope that this helps.